Welcome everyone to my channel, Team Lynch, Spirit of Adventure. I'm Michael Lynch. Uh, thanks for giving this video a view. Hopefully you'll give it a like, comment, subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Um, that'd be great. Um, if you watch part one of this two-part video series, you'll know that after I got home from this road trip, I decided to make this into a two-part video. So as we start out in this video, I'm actually already at Escalante State Park in Escalante, Utah, and I'm hiking up the Petrified Forest Trail looking for some fossilized wood and talking about some other weird things that happened on the trip. Let's check it out. Okay, y'all. Kind of a funny story. So I ended up leaving Bryce Canyon National Park. Um, had total intentions to go down to Ruby's Inn, which if you've never been down this area, there's a place called Ruby's Inn and there's all these like businesses, a campground, RV park, you can rent UTVs, you can go on horseback and it's all part of this Ruby's area. Anyway, they have a bunch of restaurants as part of their like Best Western Inn Hotel and a couple other restaurants that are separate. All of them had like two and a half star reviews, which I know that's not everything, but down the street, like seven miles away in Tropic, Utah, there's some better places that had like four star reviews. So we decided to go there, get something to eat. But of course, since it's the between season, the one place, Rustler, said they'd be open, they weren't open. Ended up going right next door to this barbecue place, um, IDK Barbecue. It was good, the meat was good, but they were open at 11. I think I was in there like 11.30 and they didn't have anything up. Like the menus weren't on the screen, like no one's in the front. They didn't have like, I think one or two of their meats. They only had like five meats. Um, like out of the five sides, they didn't have two of the sides. It was kind of weird. Um, sold us fountain drinks, but there's no ice <laughs> anywhere. So whatever, ate it in a van. Now, here I am, Escalante State Park and Petrified Forest. The hike to the Petrified Forest is only like a mile, but it is pretty strenuous. It's strenuous, it's all uphill. Um, but once you get to, I think it's like marker 10 on the trail, look right back here yes it's actually marker 10 on the trail petrified forest trail you actually come to the first kind of petrified wood you'll find on the trail let's see if you can see this with me here so basically get closer see that so all that right there all of this you see in frame this looks like a log you can actually see the wood grain in it the wood grain like really really fine um, but this is actually wood. It's hard as a rock. If you were to hit your head on this, like you're gonna crack your skull open. This thing is, is fossilized. You can see some of the wood behind it as well. If you look at some of this, like you can see it. It looks like it's just wood, but it's not. This is actually rock solid petrified wood. It is uh, fossilized and it is heavy if you ever get to hold any pieces actually um, the one cool thing about rubies is that they have a lot of kind of art museum quality wood pieces there I'll put some up in the video right now um, showing like big cuts of this that are polished and what they look like kind of up close but we're gonna keep hiking the trail I ended up leaving the dogs in, in the van just because on this trail I don't see any here. Sorry, my nose is running a little bit because it is cold, but I'm sweating because the hike was kind of strenuous. I don't see any of it around here, but there's these like purple um, cactus and they look just like the regular, like the nopilus that you find in like in the store to eat, but they're purple and they have like these really, really long barbs on them. And on the trail here, they actually get buried in the sand a little bit and it's hard to see sometimes, but the barbs stick out and I don't want the dogs to get their, their little paws stuck with those. I'm gonna keep hiking going down the Petrified Forest Trail here behind me, hopefully seeing some more petrified wood. You're not supposed to take any with you and they actually have the trail um, surveilled at all times, 24 hour surveillance, like a picture of a little camera. Don't know if they do, but they say they do. So gonna keep checking it out and um, we get back to the van, probably figure out our next move and uh, fill you in from there. All right, so here's some of the things that you can find out here that I don't know, this looks like it's it's petrified wood, but it's not the kind of stuff you'll see like at Ruby's. What you'll find here is you'll see like just rocks kind of sticking up and you'll notice them by the coloration that you, that you have on them. And so you end up having like almost this amber, or like this sap that's almost gotten like super, super hard and it's actually sharp. 
in a lot of places like you can cut somebody <laughs> with that kind of serrated edge right there and with these big chunks you look at them and you start to see this little striations of like wood grain kind of in it's really hard to see sometimes on these pieces but looking at this this looks like a just a hunk of petrified wood that maybe broke off and to me anyway just the a, a non-geologist like maybe this is some kind of amber or resin or something like that that's also hardened it was part of that wood that broke off gonna look for more of this stuff if i find some unique ones i'll put them back on camera as well but off to find some more So hiking through here, um, went through a little bit more of the Petrified Forest Trail and um, yeah, went a little bit off trail, not much. I can still see the trail, um, but basically wanted to pick up a couple of the pieces of petrified wood that you'd find if you were to hike here. These are kind of like the, the big mama jammos that are hard, really, really hard to find actually. Um, you can see kind of on the other sides here, some of that, that still that amber kind of look and you can still see some really fine wood grain going up and down there. Now, the way this one was found, I actually found it with this kind of facing straight up out of the ground, so I kind of saw some of the amber stuff and then kicking away some of the dirt, I was able to see kind of the edges there and see that this was a big piece of wood that got fossilized. Generally speaking, this is kind of the, the type of wood that you find. You can, you can also kind of a little bit see some rings right here as well um, and just as a reminder too uh, while i am going a, just a little bit i'd say maybe 10 to 20 feet off trail to kind of get these things they're kind of lying all over the place most of them are these tiny shards though really really small you do find some big ones like that um, none of this stuff is coming with me so um, you know leave no trace it's all going to stay here um, in the petrified forest um, but i definitely want to show people um, what this looks like because um, Apparently it's really hard to find it. It takes like a million years or something like that to make this wood like this. So if you do find it, you should probably leave it where it's at just because, I mean, if everyone kind of takes the stuff, we're not gonna have any of it left for people to kind of hike out here and, and see, you know, kind of in this natural environment. So I'm also not a geologist. So if you're watching this video and you know what's creating like that kind of amber color, if you know what that is, comment what it is because unless you do, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is amber and there's definitely dino DNA in here. There's like a T-Rex up in here right now. So if you know, if you can prove me wrong, prove me wrong. Um, but until then, this is what I'm going to say. This is Escalante State Park at kind of the top of the hike here, it's a petrified forest. It is really, really gorgeous. Um, Southern Utah this time of year, it's cool. It's like low 40s, it's sunny. Like as you see, I took my jacket off. I just have my t-shirt on out here hiking. Um, really great time of year, day before Thanksgiving. Um, could not be having more fun. So gonna get back to Bertha. Hopefully the pups made it out okay. I try to figure out where I'm gonna um, uh, boondock here tonight. I'm going to do it somewhere Escalante, between Escalante and Boulder, Utah, in Dixie National Forest. Um, it's a beautiful part of Utah. You get kind of the red rocks, you get the, the mesas behind you. You also see regular mountain peaks in the distance, and there's actually trees and junipers and stuff like that, uh, which is pretty unique to this part of, part of the state. Or I'll fill you in where we end up making camp or boondocking. Hopefully it's a safe spot. Got to campsite, it's actually called Hole in the Rock, um, just east of Escalante on Highway 12. 
Um, Hole in the Rock is actually this really cool red rock formation further down kind of this um, like national forest kind of dirt road. But there's also just a ton of camping out here. And while it's only like 3 p.m. in the afternoon, I thought I'd give the pups some play time. Um, you see they're just kind of, there's nothing out here, so they can just wander off leash. They've been chasing a ball around, drinking some water, stuff like that. Pretty tired, and I'm hoping, hoping, hey, you know, I'm hoping <laughs> that they they sleep pretty well tonight. We are just kind of out here in the middle of it, in the middle of nowhere, and you kind of see over my shoulder. Let's see if I can zoom in on it some. Like you kind of, you can kind of look off into into infinity, and this is kind of this is this is Bertha, and there's Juno. <laughs> this is Bertha um, dry camping it. This is boondocking. It's supposed to be pretty cold um, down to around freezing, just below freezing tonight, um, which Bertha should be just fine. Um, we're full of water. Our tanks are almost empty. Um, or a gray and our black tank anyway, so um, should be totally set. And actually have cell phone signal is even though we're out here kind of in the middle of nowhere and then Bertha I actually have a fire uh, TV stick on the TV in there um, plus my iPad my iPhone stuff like that to stream and cast stuff so um, yeah it's gonna be a good little time in the van hopefully to stay really quiet and kind of peaceful I've only seen like three other campers in this entire area which is pretty vast see you later on tonight maybe as we're kind of eating our dinner and stuff like that and doing some other stuff All right, guys, it was actually a really great time in the van. Me and the pups were actually a lot more beat than we thought. We totally crashed out, didn't film any more footage, and actually the next day took this drive that you see right here going up through Boulder, Utah, on the way back home to the Salt Lake Valley. And because of the new COVID restrictions and because it was Thanksgiving, actually a lot of places were closed and a lot of places that were gonna be open actually decided to close as well, which was okay. We were kind of ready to get back anyway. So I wanna leave you with this fantastic drive through Dixie National Forest um, from Escalante to Boulder, Utah to Torrey, Utah. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And also remember to check out my other YouTube channel, Beefcake Lynch Gaming. Until next time, see you around.